हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम बैक टू नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ एस पी एस एस टूटोरियल्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सुमित बख्शी एंड दिस वीडियो इज इन द कंटिन्यूशन विद द लास्ट वीडियो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फ्रिक्वेंसीज इन एस पी एस एस आई ऑल्सो मैंशन दैट फॉर नॉमिनल वेरिएबल्स और कैटेगरिकल वेरिएबल्स वी नीड टू एनालाइज फ्रिक्वेंसीज बट फॉर स्केल और कंटिन्यूस वेरिएबल्स वी नीड मीन एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन समटाइम्स मीडियम टू वेन डेटा इज क्यूट Although we can find mean from options frequencies, as I have shown you in last video, but it is always easy to use option descriptives for continuous variables. So in today's video, I will discuss how to analyze descriptive statistics and how to convert raw scores into z scores. I will also explain how to get details of descriptive statistics like how to get confidential intervals around mean or how to get trimmed mean now for this i will use same data which i have taken in last video so our research problem is to study the effect of collaborative teaching in mathematics on achievement of students here is the data in which scores are dependent variable genders are measured independent variable and groups are treatment independent variables so to analyze descriptive statistics we need to go to analyze menu analyze menu then descriptive statistics and then descriptives in dialog box we will move all the variable from left dialog box to right dialog box by clicking this arrow so all my variables are now in right dialog box you can collect the descriptive information of all the variables in one go we need not to do it again and again variable by variable so i put all the variables in right dialog box all together then options ibm spss default setting is like it is ticked already mean standard deviation minimum maximum but besides these basics we can calculate variance range kurtosis skewness everything but i'll keep the basic setting here only also it is mentioned here display order in which order you want your output will be uh, it can be in variable list it can be in alphabetical order or ascending or descending mean also but i'll keep it as variable list then continue now okay so here is our output in which variables are mentioned separately gender number is n is 20 that means we have 20 participants minimum 1 maximum 2 mean and standard deviation as gender is a categorical variable so these thing does not make any sense again for group also group is a categorical variable nominal variable so these things are senseless here but for scores we have minimum value is 20 that means a student has got 20 out of 50 is a minimum score and maximum is 49 out of 50 mean is 35.60 and standard deviation is 8.586 it also mentioned the box is valid n list wise this is it means number of cases with no missing value we don't have any missing value so it is showing as 20 but if we do have some missing value so the value will change here the valid n will be different in that case so in this uh, table in a scale variable we got mean and standard deviation that is quite useful for us next i will tell you how to get standardized values by getting z scores so again we need to go to analyze menu descriptives in 
दिस केस फॉर नॉमिनल वेरिएबल्स वी डोंट नीड स्टैंडर्डाइज वैल्यूज विल पुट दीज नॉमिनल वेरिएबल्स टू लेफ्ट डायलॉग बॉक्स अगेन नाउ वी हैव ओनली स्कोर वेरिएबल इन द राइट डायलॉग बॉक्स to get the z scores it is quite easy and quick way in ibm spss you need to tick check mark here save standardized values as variables and then okay now we get the second box second output but this is same as the first one we get the z score in our data list when you go to your data list you get the z scores here so our output is same but when you go back to your sheet you will see a new column that is z scores these are z scores of marks of students spss convert marks of each student into standardized scores which tells us how many standard units this score is away from mean here are negative z score also negative z score tell us that raw score is below average whereas positive z score tell us that raw score is above average so that's all with the z scores and descriptives now if you want a detailed view of descriptive statistics then we have another option in spss for that you need to go again in analyze menu descriptive statistics then explore instead of frequency or descriptives now we will go to explore now i am going to do this in three parts in first part we focus on scale variable our scale variable is scores only and i'll get the detailed descriptive here i'll put score variable into dependent list because score is a dependent variable we have the only dependent variable we have in our data so i'll put score into dependent variables then click statistics descriptive we can check outlier also percentile also then continue again plots stem and leaf plot is uh, already checked by default setting we will keep it as such we will also check histogram because for scale variable we need histogram then continue and then okay so we get a huge set of data it includes everything possible in descriptives you can use this data as per the requirement of your course or university this output also shows the 95% of confidence interval surrounding the mean which means we can be 95% confident that the true mean value in the population fall within the range you may also get 5% trimmed mean for this ibm spss software removes top and bottom 5% cases of your data and calculate new mean see in this case first box is of case summary second box is of for descriptives here mean is calculated 35.60 also the 95% confidence interval for mean is given the lower and the upper bound is given we can see 5% trimmed mean is also there 35.72 so what does it mean 5% trimmed mean is spss trimmed the upper 5% cases and lower 5% cases and then find out new mean how it is useful to us if you compare new mean to the original mean new mean is 35.72 and original mean is 35.60 so if you compare new mean to original mean you can see whether your extreme scores are having any influence on mean if they differ largely like in this case they are almost same 35.72 and 35.60 so in this case it is all right but if they differ, if they differ much 
you may need to investigate your data again with more precision. Next we have separate box for percentiles, we have separate box for extreme values or outliers, we have separate histogram, stem and leaf plot also, we have box plot also. So you can get anything whatever you think of in explore. Now in next we can also split it into or factorize into the levels of categorical variables. For that again we go to analyze menu, descriptive and then explore. Now we have two categorical variables. We will do it one by one. First I will put gender into factor list. Settings are same. I will not change any setting. I will just click OK. See in this case now everything, every table or graphs I get into two parts. Females and males separately. Our summary is separated for female and male. The complete descriptive table including mean, confidence interval, streamed mean, median, variance, standard deviation, minimum, maximum value, everything in descriptives we got separately for females and males. See we can get interquartile range, skewness, kurtosis, everything. So if you want detailed view, you need everything in descriptives as per the requirement of your study you just need to go to explore and make the options you get everything from explore in detail again percentile boxes into two parts females and males we get the extreme value for females separately and males separately histogram is also now we have two histogram one for female and the other one for male similarly stem and leaf plot we get separately for females and males. Here box plot is now we can see side by side to make the comparisons. So we can easily compare females and males here in from these box plots. Now we can do the same thing with group variable also. Again we will go to analyze menu descriptive statistics then explore now we will put group variable also in factor list and then ok again we need not to change any setting we have already set everything ok this is all for gender just scroll down you will get for groups also yeah here is for groups the total summary for control group and experimental group is now given separately. Again for descriptives everything including mean, trimmed mean, confidence interval, median, variance, standard deviation, everything for control group we can see separately and for experimental group we can see separately. Percentile for control group and experimental group is now separate. Again extreme value or outliers are separate now. Histogram is given separate for control group and another one is for experimental group. Again stem and leaf plot. We have two stem and leaf plot now. Box plot in a similar way is given side by side for control group and for experimental group. So that we can make comparison between control group and experimental group. So that's it with today's video. To sum up, we use descriptive statistics when we want to use basics of descriptives. But if we want detail of descriptives, in that case we use explore as option. We can also calculate z-scores in SPSS in very quick and easy manner. That's all. Thank you. If you like my video, do comment, share my video and subscribe to Dr. Sumit Bakshi.